After the success of his own political career... What's your position on the independence of the Auditor General? <laughs> yeah, uh... <laughs> Nobody is better placed to tackle the big issues with our nation's leaders. Let me have a crack at this. Today, our chief political reporter, William Brownless, goes one-on-one -on -one with Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. Have you thought this okay. through? This is Question Time. Yes, it is indeed. Billy Brownless here with the Prime Minister of Australia, Anthony Norman Albanese. Welcome to Triple M Melbourne. Good to be here. I'm a little bit nervous after that intro, I've got to say, Billy. <laughs> I did run for politics on the other side. Jeff Kennett tried to get me up and I had, oh, I well, had no there was idea. Your, there was your first mistake. Spot on. <laughs> Spot on. Exactly right. And I, as I said to him, i got no idea. He said, mate, i got no idea either, but I'm the Premier. But anyway, great to have you in Melbourne. Great to have you on board. We see you running around up there in Sydney in your Rabbitohs cap and hat and things like that. So we're down here in Melbourne. What scarf, what colour scarf or beanie will you be wearing? Oh, mate, I wear a, uh, a brown and gold scarf. Oh, no. And uh, if you're a South Sydney supporter, yeah. right, and you're yeah. a little kid, yep. uh, you can't go for Geelong because they're the Canterbury colours. Oh, yeah, And right you on. can't go for Essendon because they were North Sydney and Richmond Tigers, <laughs> Balmain Tigers, yeah. and the Magpies of Collingwood or Western Suburbs in Sydney. So if, if your team is... Uh, Cardinal and Myrtle, or red and green. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, then you uh, go for the Hawks. And they had a pretty good team when I was growing up, oh, I've got to say. Did... They might do it a bit tough. Yeah. And I, I was there at the 89 grand final. You Sorry, were mate. not. I was there. I drove down. I stayed on uh, Lindsay Tanner's floor oh. and went out to the game. Yeah. And so I was there in 89. And then I went to the only grand final at Waverley as well. Oh, yes. Uh, out at, uh, out yeah. there. Mm. We, we met at uh, Glen Ferry Oval for oh, beers at breakfast with the Hawthorne Social Club. Yeah. And then headed out and there were just far too many beers on the way out. It was a long bus ride. Bloody oh, Long bus Waverley. ride. Yes, exactly. And uh, it was a longer bus ride back and, oh, and at the Oval there when the, when the boys came back. Uh, they've been a very successful team. I don't know about this year, as you said, but 89, I was actually out there too. I don't know. You if were? You, yeah. you, you, you were running around. Well, me and Ablett kicked 11 goals between us. Yeah, he got nine. <laughs> That's and the game. Norm Smith. <laughs> yeah, he did indeed. So you, so you actually do know your footy. That's good. I, I, well I've always loved uh, loved AFL. Yeah. I uh, my my son played for the Newdown Swans. Yeah, up there. Yep. Uh, in the uh, in the the Sydney Swans gear, uh, he changed teams a few times, mm. uh, but I've, I've never changed uh, teams from uh, Hawthorne. So we you. could struggle. But when when Sydney came up, of yeah. course, South Melbourne became Sydney. I joined. The Swans, when they were in trouble, and was a part of a campaign, SOS, Save oh, Our Swans. Yes, yeah. When they were really struggling. Were you there with the doctor and Who Leanne? Yes, Dr. Edelston. Oh, yeah, they were, they were years best not spoken about, <laughs> I reckon. Uh, some, of the, some of the weird stuff that was going on there. <laughs> Warwick Kappa? Warwick, Warwick oh, Kappa. Kappa. He had a bit of flair about he him, though, didn't he? A lot of flair about him. A lot him. of flair, but, you know, mm. I, uh, I was there when uh, Tony Lockett, Kick the the point uh, versus the bombers, and me and a mate, uh, we <laughs> decided at that point in time we we literally rang up, booked airfares. We didn't have tickets yeah. uh, to the game, so we went uh, we went to the one of us went to the what was in the MCG hotel, and one of us to the, it was the Hilton then, yeah, well, I think back then, the, yep, the yep. Pullman. And tried to get two tickets, right? <laughs> and we both scored at the same time. Oh, no. So See, then we had to flog so, two. <laughs> you weren't scalping. Well, we, we sold some. <laughs> we sold some. What were we going to do? Waste them? <laughs> well, that's all right. We no. didn't make, make money out of it. We, no, of course you didn't. No, we well just done. needed to get tickets. Righto. Beautiful. And we, we needed Jeez. two and we got four. Jeez, you're a footy fan. Hey, what about your last month? Did you sit back and just think, what a bloody hell? Busy you have been. The Mardi Gras. The first Prime Minister to march in that. Congratulations. How was that? Did you enjoy that? It was awesome. I don't know why uh, no one's marched yeah. before. There's very little chance as a politician to walk along any street in Australia and be cheered by 200,000 people. <laughs> exactly. So it was, it was great. It's yeah. all, I've, I've marched for decades now, yeah. yep. uh, but it's the first time, obviously, as Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah, and what I didn't 
understand even, even beforehand but afterwards was how important it was for, you know, there's a lot of people, uh, not so much if, if, if you live in my electorate, yep. if you live in a, a, a bush area or a community, sometimes uh, people can do it really tough. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it was very important to people. Just so many yeah. people got in contact to say, thank you for marching. It made a difference to me. Well, special to see you doing and marching. That is great. So, well, Australia says well done there. Then, of course, I love my cricket and we turn on the fourth test. We're waiting for the play to start. And, we, and there's you and the Indian Prime Minister on a float. You like your On floats. a gold chariot. Oh, mate, what about that going around the ground holding up play? That was unreal. I didn't hold up play. It was Come late. On. No, it was late. We couldn't because you were, oh, I think the Prime Minister liked the photos and the cameras, didn't he? <laughs> the... He, he, he was pretty popular. <laughs> uh, we got, as we were going around, you know, I said to him, you're, you're pretty popular. So we're chanting Modi, <laughs> Modi, <laughs> Modi, and everyone filming it. And he said, oh, they're cheering for you. I, <laughs> I said, I said, oh, thanks, Prime Minister, but I don't think they know who I am. Uh, and he pointed out the billboards that were around the ground as well. He said, they do now. And mm. I think uh, I'm probably better known in Ahmedabad than I am in Marrickville now. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot more there. But what was that? And you like your cricket too? You're I, I love yeah. my cricket. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't very good at cricket, but I, I do love it and love watching it. Yeah. I love all the, the stats and everything yeah. else as well oh. about it. And the fact that you can... Sit there. I mean, I sat down with Prime Minister Modi yep. for, we stayed for about 40 minutes of the play. It's the only chance you would get <laughs> to have a one-on-one -on -one for 40 minutes yep. without being bothered by anybody. Yep. And and that's the great thing about the cricket. I, I went uh, to the, the test in Sydney this year. Yeah. I went on day three for the Jane McGrath Day, yeah. raising money for, for breast cancer, yeah. of course. It's a fantastic charity. And not a ball was bowled, and it didn't really matter. <laughs> you, <laughs> it, was, it was a good yeah, day. Yeah, well done. And then, of course, we just see you last week over in America with your good mate Joe Biden. He's a good fella. Doesn't he love his aviators. He's he a good looks fella. Cool. He he gave me a. a I saw that. He gave me a pair <laughs> of his of his aviators. It's got his little signature <laughs> on the glass in the corner. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no, he's he's good value. Yeah. And I think uh, we get on we get on really well. Yeah. We're both we're both pretty similar. Yep. Uh, both uh, Catholic working class lads. Yeah. And so we we get on very well. And Rishi, Rishi, yeah, Rishi, I get on quite well with too. We have different politics, of course, but uh, we get on well. Yeah. And uh, I sat next to him at the big G20, the 20 biggest yeah. economies yeah. in the world, uh, met in Bali last year, and we we're next to each other for. <laughs> two days. Yeah. And so it was quite good to get to know him. He of course is my third British prime minister. I haven't been in office for no, a year, right. year yet. Yeah. I've met three of them. Uh, so <laughs> we'll, we'll wait and we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll wait and see what happens there. It's sort of a, it, it makes Australia look stable. It does. Here's what? a little fact for you, Billy. Right. -o. The last seven elections in Australia, yeah. and we have them every three years, yeah. most countries it's four or five, have elected seven different prime ministers. Wow. Seven go. different ones. So I, my, my pitch next time around yeah, in part will be, let's get a bit of stability. Exactly. Here. Back to back. Back to back. That's what you want. Back to back. <laughs> exactly. For elbow. Hey, uh, but how, how was America? They're so patriot, patriotic. Actually, that's the word. So they love their uh, American flags and things like that, don't they? And the subs. I've got to ask you about the subs. Three hundred and sixty-eight billion or whatever it was. Uh, they must be all right. They're pretty good. <laughs> They're pretty good. Yeah. And well, a a nuclear sub compared with a conventional sub yeah. is basically quieter, so it's less detectable. Yeah, it can stay underwater. For longer, doesn't have so to come up. It for doesn't a snort. have to come up for a, a yeah a snorkel um, with I think they or a snort, snort. Yeah, snort with the snorkel. Yes, um, <laughs> and uh, it uh, they they're faster. Yeah, so they're just better. Yeah. basically. So if you're going to uh, spend money and invest in our defence, you've got to invest in the best. Yeah, and and that's what we're doing. Mm. Uh, so it's. It's a big number, but we're being upfront about that too. Yeah. When you think about it, it is actually under 10% of the defence budget. And will it make Australia more than 10% safer? 
you bet it will. Yeah. You bet it will. So mm. it's a, it's a good investment and uh, it's one that, that we're making over a long period of time. We'll skill up the Australian workforce. And the other thing is that because it's such high tech, um, which is why it costs so much, the spin-off in jobs will be a bit like uh, what the car industry was here in yep. the post-war period. Mm -hmm. There's a big bonus for manufacturing jobs, and we we need to make more things here. Yes, and I, I reckon deep down, every Aussie knows that. Some don't agree with it because they're on the opposite sides to you or whatever, but we all know that. We need to be safe here in Australia. It's a it's the best country, so that's why it would have been magnificent to come home after being in India and uh, everywhere else uh, in America. And were you missed? Were you missed by your two favourite women? I, I, I'm not, sorry, I, two favourite girls. <laughs> girls. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, my, my partner Jodie uh, missed me, thank yeah. goodness. Yes. Uh, but uh, my little four-legged leg friend, Toto, <laughs> yeah. uh, she completely lost it. I think she was a bit worried that Daddy had gone away for ever and yeah. wasn't coming back. So that's the great thing about oh, dogs. Yeah, pets. Uh, I love the, the Fove song, Dogs Are The Best People, we got that. Uh, because it, uh, it, it just tells a story about, you know, unconditional love that, yeah. that, that they give you. And in this job, it is fantastic to know that no matter whether it's a good day or a bad day, mm. uh, then you get a great welcome home. Sometimes you get the same welcome uh, if you've been away for a week, yeah. if you leave for 10 minutes. That's right. <laughs> exactly right. Um, but you, you do like your music, Prime Minister. We'll go to that very shortly because I'm going to ask you your favourite song. So just have a little think about that. I've just got a couple of more questions because um, you are the most important person in Australia. Pat Cummins may be there somewhere. <laughs> And you have your security, but Australia is a pretty good place to walk around. I would have thought, is it? it Do you feel safe? It's a fantastic place. Yeah. And I, I think when I look at what happens overseas mm -hmm. and the security that other leaders have, and I have security yeah. with me, um, I can go to the shops. Yep. I can walk around. Uh, my security sometimes... Um, <laughs> Uh, get a little bit uh, nervous about the uh, what I do. Uh, like I went to the uh, the Pixies concert at the <laughs> Opera House forecourt and was out there in the in the mosh pit. Who with? And uh, just on I, your I own. Went with some mates. Yeah, just <laughs> just went and, and we're that? just there with yeah. the with the crowd. We we went to the the Oils had their last ever gig <laughs> yes. at the Horden Pavilion, and I I said to uh, the guys who were looking after us, you, you know, it's good the seats you've got us on the side there, but uh, you know, I'm not going to stay in the seats all night, don't you? They're like, yeah, yes, yes, Prime Minister, we know, we've organised. So uh, it, it's often a good spot yeah. at a gig, which is often they're able to secure as well, is of course where the mixing mm. desk is. Oh, right there. So yeah. that's where the sound is great. So a bonus is uh -huh. that sometimes I get to just hang around the uh, mixing. The, the mixing area. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Hey, I wonder to always ask you this. Have you got a big red phone at home that goes uh, flashes if there's trouble? No. Nope. No, good. No, just a mobile. Just a mobile. <laughs> right. Uh, now, speaking of uh, we phones. Do, we do have secure systems, though, in which we can talk and yeah. secure rooms and all of that and secure videos. Right. And I have, uh, I have that at... Uh, at my home at the lodge in right. Canberra and at Parliament House. Could you, on that phone you've got now, could you ring any leader in the world and they'll pick up? Uh, yeah, I hope so. I've got a few numbers in there. A few numbers? A few numbers. If you ring old mate Macron, would he pick up? Yep. He would? Yeah. Good. Absolutely. No, a good relationship with him. He's a, he's a good fella. Yeah. And, and he welcomed us to Paris. Right. And it was, uh, no, we've got a, a good relationship. Yeah, that's good. Hey, now, it's all about a team, especially your party, the Labor Party, very much a team. And, and you know, but you've got two great deputies. One is Penny Wong, who seems to be doing a magnificent job. She is fantastic. Yes. And the other one is the old Geelong, my old mate down there in Geelong, Richard Miles. He is such a tragic, you know. He was so nervous <laughs> in the lead up to the grand <laughs> final this year. And I was saying to him, mate, you got this. <laughs> Geez, he loves the cats. He's he, Geelong he, boy, went to school there. He is absolutely obsessed. He is. And his office was just 
appalling. <laughs> Blue and white. It was just yeah. appalling. There was just stuff everywhere. And he made no sense mm, no. all week. Well, no well, sense whatsoever in the week leading up to and the <laughs> week after. It would be like, what, what do you think about? This issue. Yeah. What do you think we should do in the budget? You say, do you know the cats won the grand final? <laughs> Come on in. That's the way. We yeah. love, that's what we love him. Have you been down to Geelong to see him? I, I've been down to Geelong and I, I've been to Cardinia Park. Oh. I've had um, I've had uh, kick to kick with uh, Mr. Selwood. Joel Selwood, yeah. Uh, down there at, oh, at, good. Uh, at, at the Cattery. Yeah, yeah. So oh, good work. Uh, we did that. We, we were getting filmed one day oh. and... A photo but opportunity, was it? When you, you know, well, it was a bit, to <laughs> say the truth, but it was during a campaign. And when, you, um, when you're from Sydney, yeah. people assume that you actually know absolutely nothing, nothing. about that's AFL. That's right. You're true. Right? Yep. So they assume that. <laughs> and they assume you can't do a drop punt. Ooh. And they assume you can't. Handball? You, you, a handball, I'm not real good oh, right. But I can do it. But yeah. they, they assume that. Yeah. And so I'm doing... And we're getting further and further <laughs> apart, right? It starts, oh, you know, no. <laughs> five metres, 10 metres, 15 yeah. metres, 20, 25, yeah. 30. And they were just waiting for me to drop one. Yeah. They were just waiting. Oh. So it's, it's on, uh, it'll film. be on social media somewhere, yeah, yeah, somewhere. on yeah, YouTube yeah. or something somewhere. And you marked everyone. Everyone. Oh, and then I was elbow. like, that's it. Yeah. I'm stopping. I played in, I made my debut. Here's, here's a tip right. for... For young listeners, yes, make your Aussie Rules debut before you're 50, not after. No, because no. I made my debut oh. in the Community Cup. Oh, I yes. played for a few years. Yeah, um, I took a good mark. They can Google that. That was <laughs> up there somewhere as well, right in front of the grandstand at Henson Park in oh. my electorate. But uh, the injuries playing for the Whalers. Well, I've got. Oh, yeah. You know, Fingers, yeah. imagine that you can see this, listeners, <laughs> but my finger now has an extra joint in it uh, yep. because it broke completely. Oh. And I just, that was my last, my oh. third and last That's game it. of AFL. No more. I, 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 I was convinced my, my KPI was just survive. Yeah. Don't, don't try and take a tackle. And of <laughs> course we were, I think, four points up with, and it's 20 a side. Yeah. It's a mixed thing. And. Ooh. So there were 40 people in our defensive 50. Yes. And I, of Listen. course, you know, adrenaline got in. I made a tackle and, of course, ended up with my right. finger at 90 degrees Ooh, yeah. uh, at the knuckle. And I just put it back in. You put it back in yourself? Put it back in oh, myself. Which, tough. Which they tough. said when I arrived at the hospital, <laughs> at Balmain Hospital, they actually said, the doctor said that that was a good thing because if I had waited and an hour to get there, it you wouldn't the be able to put it back or something. Yeah. So anyway, oh, so you're a I doctor did it too. In, in an act of idiocy, really, oh, rather cool. than anything else. It was just once again adrenaline kicking in. But yeah, young listeners, don't play no, after Aussie 50. rules. Well, don't play your first game after fifty. After fifty. Now, Prime That's Minister, you're in uh, the mighty uh, city of Melbourne. Have you got any announcements or what are you, what are you actually doing in well, town? Well, I've been here uh, out there campaigning in Aston. There's a by-election on right April right. 1. All right, right. So I've been out there with Mary Doyle. She's terrific. Yes. Out there campaigning in the community. Uh, so I've done that Good. and then came to see you here. <laughs> had a few. Uh, well, we've got a, your song coming up. Media so. appearances. Yeah. Good work. All right. Not going to the footy? Not going no, to the footy. No. Right. We'll no. Cats so, play tomorrow. Yeah. Who are they playing? Mighty Cats play today. They play uh, Geelong take on Collingwood. Big game, MCG. Ooh, very big. Oh, oh. You should have that. Well, we should, but Collingwood are going all right. They're not a bad side. The, the, people used to dislike them. Now they like them. It's unbelievable. They've done a big turnaround. Yeah, they, they kept losing grand finals yeah. too. Mm. Uh, what do you mean too? Like well, I did. They lost more than two. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> right, here we go. Now, we've got your DJ. You actually DJed at the Corner Hotel for the Rock Dogs. I did. And you had all these songs here. We've just got a couple of them here. Uh, Sweet Caroline's the best one for that. Sweet Caroline is good, but I don't do that. You don't? It's, it's, uh, nah, it's a bit, a bit slow for my playlist. <laughs> Touching hand, touching. Just saying. Right. Now, Sorry, Billy. Here it is. The Prime Minister of Australia, Anthony Albanese. You and can't this... play Neil Diamond at the Corner Hotel, mate. No, no, you're right. Seriously. Are you caught up with this? Uh, we are just talking about it the other day. 
It's but, Triple M. I know. Well, uh, not not smooth FM. All oh, right, all right. Thank you, uh, Elbow. Uh, what's the song um, that they drop their pants to at weddings? Oh, Eagle Rock. Eagle Rock. Oh. Have you caught up with that stupid thing that's happening where Eagle Rock comes in? Comes on. Why do they drop their pants? And they drop their pants and dance to it. Why do they drop their? Oh, pants? I don't know. We're trying to find it out I, during the week. But... I, I'm, I'm missing that. No, no. So we I saw it over I'll, in Perth. I'll ask one of my young staff. Maybe it's a West Australian oh, thing. It would be knowing them over there. You know? Yes, exactly. Eagles. Yeah, the Eagles, exactly. But here it is. Your favourite song of all time. You're going to hear it here on Triple M, and it is "Wide Open Road" by the Triffids. Well, here we go, Hose. Hit it. <laughs> 